morning welcome back to the channel oh my god the sun is out it feels like spring i can't cope i'm so excited um i know it's only february and i know spring hasn't come but oh, just basking in sunshine and blue skies makes me so happy and um much more productive oh it's just so nice we're getting that much needed vitamin d <laughs> i'm just absorbing it all um oh hair's hair's going for it as well um yes so i'm, I'm in a chipper monday mood thank you to the weather. Um, it's just beautiful. Anyway, I've come out because I'm going to get these guys tacked up to go for a hack before I go back to work. You need a bit of a leg stretch, don't you? You had a good workout yesterday, but I think you need, a, you need a little outing, don't you? Should we go and find your favourite cows, shall we? Um, and I'm going to do a vlog all about Madam here because I haven't really updated you again um, since we've had the vet out and just what our plans are for Sienna this year, how we're getting on with solving the mystery that is Sienna. Not very well. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to give you an update on her. Oh, looking very smoothy. Yes. So this is what Sienna is looking like now. And I think she's probably not far off fully grown. Um, I just think she really looks like she's developed a lot in the past few months that she looks kind of more in proportion now um she's still got to develop a lot more muscle she's still very weak across the back but i just think she looks like a fully grown horse rather than a weak youngster which is exciting and i'm hoping that's going to really help her to be able to kind of overcome her issues um interestingly though i think she looks very well developed the dentist said her teeth would age her rising five but in fact she's actually rising six this year um so that's interesting i don't know if it means anything i don't know if it means that she is and she's currently biting the fence because why not um if that means that she's a late developer or something like that i don't know but that was an interesting fact that he said the other day when he did his her teeth but i'm just really pleased with how she's looking and that she's just looking nicely developed there's a little bit more muscle under her neck than i like she's always been a little bit like that um but yeah, I just think in the last few months, she's really matured. That's the word I'm looking for. She's really matured. And I hope that that's going to help her this year. I washed her tail and her back legs because she does have a habit of laying in her poo. I washed them yesterday. She's already got another poo stain there. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Hey, madam. She is a big girl. She is coming in um, just under 16.3. So she is big. I don't think she'll get any bigger than that. Quite close to her. But yeah, she is coming in at 63. I wondered if she... I mean, she still is lacking muscle along her back. But I think this is just the shape of her back. I said to my vet, it's like, oh, she's a bit dipped, isn't she? But the vet's like, oh, I think that's just her shape. Um, a little bit high withered. But yeah, there's definitely some muscle building that needs to still continue along her back. And obviously, she's only just coming up six. She's six in May. So she's still very young. And she may... I don't think she'll get any taller, but she may well broaden out even more. <laughs> Not that you need to be any more chunky, madam. Um, but yeah, this is how she is looking. Excuse my hat hair. Huh? Um, I feel like there might be a bit too much breeze in the background for this, but we'll give it a while anyway. So you guys, if you follow my channel regularly, will know that um, just before I had my little YouTube holiday, I mentioned that Sienna had the vet coming back out again. I think there might just be too much breeze. Hang on a second. About three weeks ago, I had the vet come out and I wanted to have Sienna's stifles x-rayed. And I wanted this because, especially through her four-year-old year, four year, old year and probably halfway through her five-year-old year, Sienna's stifles were just quite weak. So I'd noticed, like, if you were lunging her, they'd quite often suddenly, like, give way. So she'd be just trotting around and suddenly, like, her back end would drop a little bit. And it used to spook her quite a bit, actually, because I don't think she realised it was coming from her. And if you're riding her downhill or leading her out into the field and going down a slope, you just suddenly sometimes see her lose a bit of control over her back end. And I obviously initially was like, oh my goodness, what's wrong with her? But after speaking to the vet, the vet was like, oh, it's quite common in young horses for their stifles to be weak. And, you know, as they grow up and get older and get stronger, then their stifles get stronger and they don't have the problem. And I was like, oh, OK, but I was kind of keeping an eye on it. And I've never had a horse that's had any issues with its stifles. So I then just decided, even though I'd say probably for the last eight or nine months, I've not seen any sign of her stifles being an issue. She no longer kind of drops at all or they don't kind of give way or I don't know what the correct term is for it. But 
I haven't seen anything, but I thought I'm still going to get them x-rayed just to double check. And also I feel like I'm just ticking things off the list with Sienna. And her stifles were lovely. They were in perfect knit, exactly what you would hope for in a rising six-year-old. And then I thought, while we're there, let's just x-ray her hocks as well. Um, I've done this before when I purchased her. I had her hocks x-rayed. So I wasn't expecting anything major to have happened in a short space of time. But I thought, let's just check again. Uh, hocks were lovely. Good nick. Exactly what we wanted to see in a six-year-old. So that was good. And it's like a good piece of mind. I'm thinking, okay, I feel happy that we know that those joints are in good order. Um, but obviously it doesn't necessarily help us in working out what is going on with her. And... Even the vet said, when you, so she's sound, she's very sound, her legs are all lovely and clean, but if you stand behind her and look at her hindquarters, her right side is weaker than her left side, so you can see the lack of muscle development on the right, and this is what I feel when I'm, especially working her in hand, is that, you know, she's a lot less supple through her right side, you know, if you're trying to do sort of smaller circles where you're getting her to really bend through her rib cage, she finds it a lot harder, she finds the lateral work a lot harder, and so I was like, well, that, yeah, I can feel that. So it doesn't really give us an answer for why that is going on. So we're no further forward, but there's a few things that I'm hoping from this year is that now that she is stronger and more matured in her body, maybe she will just be able to cope with ridden work better. Keep my fingers crossed. Um, we will readdress the SIs because when she had her sacroiliac medicated last year, it was the one thing that made a big difference. So within two weeks after it she was looking incredible on the end of the lunge she was moving a lot better and that was the only time I think we've ever seen a difference with anything we've done medically to help her so I'm questioning whether to re-medicate them again interesting there's an article by Sue Dyson who says that actually horses that do have SI issues possibly from an injury often need two rounds of medication in, in fairly close time scale to really help them work through it because obviously the with the sacred out the horse has got to learn to use it again properly to be able to carry themselves properly to be able to engage the hind quarters to be more rounded over the back and if they've had an injury there that is going to take some time and so I may well get her SIs remedicated in the next few months I'm just going to see how I go I am planning to get back on her I'm doing a lot of in-hand work with her at the moment hopefully I've got some other video clips to put over it so you're not just looking at my face the whole time because nobody needs that um Yes, yeah, so I'm doing lots of in-hand work with the saddle on. I'm so daft. I thought sort of about it the other day. I was working her and I thought, oh, I'll put the saddle on because I haven't put it on for ages. And she looked so nervous and so worried once the saddle went on. And I thought I should really be doing more work with her with all her tack on so she gets used to it better. Even though obviously she's, <laughs> she's been ridden plenty with all her tack on. She is still quite sensitive about the saddle. And I know what you guys are thinking. Have you had the saddle checked? Yes, she's got her own fitted saddle and it has been checked. And interestingly, along the road of being broken in, she She's worn a few saddles and I know at least two of them were not the correct fit for her and her behaviour is no different between riding in those saddles and riding in a saddle that fits her so I don't think it's to do with saddles but it's always something you must check I know um, and for anyone that doesn't know my Sienna journey so far she has never been happy in ridden work since literally the day she was broken in she has always been reluctant whether that's going for a hack or playing in the school and even though we've had kind of moments where she's been a bit better we've also had moments where she's really gone I don't want to do this and we're just really struggling to figure out why now obviously she could also just be being a mare and that's quite possible and I did buy some Regumate the other day I haven't decided whether I'm going to use it yet, but I just think it might be something to tick off the list. I don't know how she feels when she comes into season. I know that she can feel a bit uncomfortable. I can see it in her. I can see that sometimes she doesn't want to eat as much. So maybe she does feel her hormones really badly. I don't know, but it might be worth trying at some point. So I have got that as a possible other thing to trial with her. Um, but I'm just sort of hoping that, really hoping, <laughs> that she might have just grown up a bit more this year. Who knows? She is a naturally quite overreactive mare. So, you know, she can be a bit of a drama queen, as we know. And, and my plans for her work-wise this year, I want to try and hack her as much as possible. I've already started upping it when leading her off of corporal, which we all know is her favourite thing in the whole wide world. She loves being led off of corporal. Um, so trying to get her going trying to take her out for a lot longer rides and really getting her to see the world 
Um, and then when I do get back on her, I'm going to try hard to take her out hacking as much as possible. Now, not that easy because I live in a really busy area. We have all sorts of traffic, lots of tractors, lots of lorries, cars, motorbikes, you name it, we have it. And we're also surrounded by a lot of cows. And if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you'll know that Sienna doesn't like cows. Not at all a fan. Um, and I would like to be able to hack her out on my own, but... I just don't know how doable that is. But the problem is, if I'm not hacking her, then I have to have her in the school. And I just, I really want her to hack as much as possible because I want her to stretch her neck out. I want her to be on the end of the buckle and learn to chill. And I think that hacking is the way forward for that. I think it's going to help her build up muscle while, yes, I'm still going to do pole work and all that in hand and things like that. I would not stop doing that. I've also been doing a lot of TRT method work with her to try and help her control her emotions and her overreactions at daft things. And the stupid thing is, she's amazing with stuff like that. Like, you can wave those plastic bags in her face and she's like, yeah, whatever. And yet, you know, something very small and minor she'll see on the road and she'll kind of go, wah, at it. Um, so that's work in progress. But this year... I'm sort of taking any pressure of schooling her and thinking of future competitions away. And I just want to have a horse that's happy to hack on her own in a chilled manner on the end of the buckle. And I know some people think well, that's not a lot to ask, but for Sienna, that's a huge amount to ask. And in the past, we definitely couldn't have managed that. I mean, we'd have been lucky if we'd have managed to got about two minutes away from my gates. Um, so that is the challenge for this year. I think it'll do her the world of good if we can achieve it. Um, also, I've got no transport, so I can't go to shows. So I think at the moment, shows are, shows are in the distant future. Um, so that's the plan. And just keep doing as much pole work, in-hand work with her, because I think that helps her a lot. And just somehow try and bring out the confidence in her and just teach her to learn to relax. So we haven't solved the mystery of Sienna. The journey continues. <laughs> But I'm just praying that this year, maybe because she's matured physically, maybe she's also matured mentally. You can hope. And that the plan is to do as much hacking with her as possible and try and go that route first and see if we can teach her to relax. I always think of Coop, because Coop's always had a pretty good back, is that Coop's always been an end of the buckle kind of horse. Like Coop's always wanted to stretch his neck out and just, you know, chill out as he goes for a rise and I want her to do the same because I think it does them the world of good but her brain is very different to corporals very different indeed excuse the hair and the wind in the background but guys it's still bright and it's quarter past five. Oh, it's like decent brightness today I was watching I don't know I was watching some real rubbish on YouTube the other day and um, she was the girl and it was going, oh, you know, it's so dark so early at the moment. And like, it just doesn't seem to be getting light. And I was thinking, it's been getting lighter for ages now. Like we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little chat about Sienna. Um, didn't really update you guys on anything interesting or anything new, but the journey continues, doesn't it, Sienna? We will solve the mystery of you. We will, we'll definitely solve it. I really do need to do something about my hair. Flatter the pancake on top and then stuck out at the sides. It's a really attractive look.